Hey guys, what's going on? Lux here, and today I have a quick video to help you guys install PokeGen on your Mac. I get a lot of questions on how to do this. There are not that many LOL Mac users out there. I'm one of the few I know that actually do everything on a Mac. So it was really disappointing when I found out that PokeGen is a Windows only program and there was no Mac alternative. So that really sucked, however, it didn't stop me from trying to figure out how to make it work because I did want to send eggs to my friends that were doing egg locks. And I know many of you uh, fellow Mac users want to do that too, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically you need this program called Wine Bottler. What it does is it takes a Windows based program and bundles it up into an app that can be run on your Mac. Now this program does not work with huge complicated programs like XSplit, so please don't think you can go download a crack of XSplit, run it through Wine Bottler and make it work. It's not going to work. It's meant for simple, simple programs like PokeGen. So what you want is the second option right here which is a stable version. You can get the development version, but obviously it's still in development, which means it's gonna be glitchy and it's gonna have some bugs, so I don't recommend that. Also, if you just upgraded to OS X Mavericks, ugh, I'm sorry, but that was one of the programs that actually stopped working for me when I upgraded um, to Mavericks, and I don't think there's a fix for it unless you downgrade back to Mountain Lion. So that really sucks. So I do apologize to the Mavericks users. I don't think this will help you. But if you have Snow Leopard, Lion, or Mountain Lion, then this will definitely work for you. And luckily for me, my iMac actually still has Lion. So I'm still able to use this. So go ahead and download it. I already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and quit this. Yes, I'm going to leave it and go ahead and uh, open it once it's downloaded. What you want is wine bottler. Don't even worry about wine. Don't stress it. You wanna just copy it into your applications folder. I already have it, so I don't wanna copy it twice. Once it's there, go ahead and open it up. And you go ahead and close out of these. And it should look like this. Now hopefully you already have PokeGen downloaded to your desktop or somewhere. But if you don't, go ahead and do that now. I have a link for PokeGen in the description below. The link for Wine Bottler is also in the description below, just in case uh, you don't know how to Google or something. But anyway, you want to go ahead and go to the Advanced tab, and we're going to go ahead and look at this, where it says Program to Install. We're going to go ahead and select our PokeGen uh, file right here. Please, please, please don't forget to choose the second option where it says this is the actual program. Copy it to the app bundle. You, you're going to get errors if you choose the, the other options. So please, please don't forget to choose this middle option. This is totally irrelevant. Don't touch it. Don't mess with it. You don't need to. What you do need to check off is this little square next to where it says bundle. Include wine binary so the app can run without prior install of wine. Basically, what it means is you can delete wine bottler and wine off your computer and it will still work. At least that's what it does for me, so hopefully it does the same for you. Go ahead and name it PokeGen, obviously. I mean, if you want to name it something else, um, go ahead. But I named it PokeGen, so I wouldn't lose it. Now, don't be afraid because it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this icon right here, just totally random. It looks kind of weird, but... Um, this is what it looks like as it's copying and bundling everything into an app, so yeah, it does take a little bit, it does take a little while because it's doing all that, but once it's done, it should say prefix created successfully, hit OK, go ahead and exit out of Wine Bottler, and open up your PokeGen, cross your fingers that you did everything right, and ta-da, we have PokeGen right here, everything works perfectly your natures and all this stuff so all you need now is the actual uh, file from whoever's doing the egg lock now I'm not going to show you how to do an egg because there are many many videos on YouTube 
that show you exactly how to create an egg. This video simply was just to help my fellow LOL Mac users on how to get Pokegen working on their Mac. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please, please smash that like button for me. It would mean so much. And share this video with as many people as you can, especially if you know someone that is on a Mac that is having this same issue. So help them out. Send this video to them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!